guys welcome back to my channel so today I created an everyday look um, I am really happy with how this turned out because I feel like um, I did both sides the more natural and the more glam look so um, I decided to do a very just natural look for those girls out there that don't feel comfortable putting lashes or they are more of a chapstick kind of girl and I also um, edit lashes and lipstick for those girls that like to always wear lashes yeah, so um, also I'm doing a giveaway what I'm giving away is one of my favorite things at the moment so if you guys want to know what I'm giving away and learn how I got this look then keep watching okay so for my everyday makeup I don't like to put any primers that are like thick or any um, just anything that is gonna clog in my pores um, so I like to use the photo finish water primer for foundation today I don't want something that is going to be too heavy on my face so i'm going to go in with the hello flawless oxygen foundation i'm just going to go in with my beauty blender to um to blend all my foundation out i like to use a beauty blender when doing my foundation and uh, when I don't want full coverage because I feel like the Beauty Blender does eat a lot of the products. So it's just gonna leave a nice even layer on your skin. Now I'm gonna be moving on to concealer and I'm using the Shape Tape by Tarte and I'm using the color Medium. Uh, for my everyday look, I just like to apply a little bit under my eyes just to cover the dark circles. And again, I like to go in with my beauty sponge just so I can collect all that extra product. I'm going to be setting my face with Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm actually going to be setting my entire face with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. But I like to use a beauty sponge and press the product more under my eyes and also on my T-zone. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to be using a brush just to kind of set the entire face. But I'm not going to be using um, pressing motions. Now that the face is completely set, I look a little bit white, kind of like no color, no no shadows, no anything. So I'm going to go in with my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and I'm just going to bronze up the face. Not really contouring, but more just giving the face a little bit of more color. I'm going to be taking the same bronzer and just taking a fluffy brush and I'm going to add it to my eyes as an eyeshadow. For blush, I'm going to go in with a orangey color. I'm taking this color right here. So yeah, the, I like this highlighter, um, the Tarte Pro Glow because it's not very like, oh my god, like you know like a super highlighter it's really nice but it's just more subtle so I'm pretty much done with the face um, I just feel like my face looks a little bit powdery so I'm gonna go back with my Smashbox water primer to set all the powders so my skin can look like skin again so now I'm just gonna move on to eyebrows and for that I'm using the Anastasia brow dip and I'm using the color soft brown since I'm not going to have a lot of eye makeup, actually I'm not going to have any eye makeup, I'm going to go very, very soft because I don't want to have this caterpillars and then no makeup. You know what I'm talking about. Now I'm just going to set my eyebrows and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. So I like to brush up and it just makes it look a little bit messier and not so clean looking. I'm going to add a little bit of mascara and I'm pretty much done with the face. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous. I don't know why I can't say this word. Voluminous, 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 voluminous. And 
that's pretty much it what I do for my eyes all I need is a little bit of chapstick and I'm gonna be using the Aquaphor healing ointment I love to use this stuff for my lips because I feel like my lips are always so dry so I use this literally every day every night almost empty like I use this all the time so this is pretty much what I would do if I am going, you know, to the movies with my boyfriend or just like something more simple where I don't want to wear eyelashes or wing liner or I don't want to contour. This literally takes me like 20 minutes to do and it's just so fast but you still look very put together, you look very awake and you just look good to go. Um, I know there is girls out there that have to wear lashes and have to wear lipsticks. I am going to change it up a little bit um, by adding a little bit of lipstick and adding some eyelashes. Um, for the girls out there that love to glam, regardless if they're going to the grocery store, outside to check the mail, just anywhere. So this next clip is for you. So I think this is tacky already so I'm gonna go ahead and apply them all right so eyelashes are on and now I'm just gonna be adding a little bit of lipstick actually this is the Maybelline Vivid Hot lipstick it's funny because it's hard to describe this lipstick it's not a matte lipstick it's not a lip gloss it's more of a creamy lipstick i am obsessed with this formula um it's very pigmented so it looks like you edit lipstick under and then a lip gloss on top by the way this is in the color unreal 64. <laughs> So this is a final look. I am so happy with how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, also, don't forget I always put every product that I use in the video in my description box. So if you guys ever get curious and I don't say like, oh, I'm using this, like just always go to the description box and you will see every single product that I use in the video. <laughs> And what I'm going to give away is in this box right here. I almost don't want to open it because I want to send it straight like this to you guys. But I'm going to open it just for the purpose of this video so you guys can see with your own eyes what I'm giving away. I'm grabbing some scissors and opening this box. I'm literally so excited that I am going to give this to someone out there because this is literally my favorite favorite thing at the moment and here it is so yeah, I am so happy to announce that I'm giving away the Jacqueline Hill palette honestly when I thought of this idea I was like you know what so happy because I know a lot of people didn't get to purchase this palette everything that you have to know about entering the giveaway and all those good stuff it's gonna be in the description box okay so yeah this is what i'm giving away and i'm so so freaking excited um i wish you guys the best luck honestly this palette um is a bomb and i know i think it the palette is gonna relaunch sometime this month in july i think i don't i'm not sure but if you can get it for free, why not? So make sure you look in the description box to see all the details and all the rules and all those stuff to enter the giveaway. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll be announcing my my giveaway either in a video or on my Instagram or on my Snapchat. So please, please, please make sure you follow me on social media. Like I said, everything is on the description box. My social media and also the rules of this giveaway. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.